Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. So I want to start a little kind of like styling series on my channel. I am in no way a fashion expert. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I do know that I love fashion. I love clothes. I love styling outfits, putting outfits together. And I also love sharing them with you guys, like where I get things and all of that great stuff. So I feel like this will be a fun thing for us to start doing. And I thought a perfect way to like kick off this little series is by doing a wardrobe essentials video, closet essentials. So basically these are things that like I need in my closet every day things that I do wear every day that are kind of like my go-to things I guess they are staple simple pieces that I just need in my life so I'll be showing you all of them and I'll be telling you where they're from but obviously you can find dupes of these or you can find these at the thrift store literally like all of these you can find at the thrift store but I'm just giving you like examples and if you do want to buy these from like you know the actual pieces that I do have then um, I'll tell you exactly where they're from in next videos I want to do like how I style sweatpants how I style my crew necks how I style my merch that'll be a video so I'm just super excited for this little series so without further ado let's get on with today's video first item I'm gonna start off with is a neutral simple tank I have a couple here to show you guys some examples but of course you get what I mean this is pretty straightforward pretty self-explanatory everyone needs just simple tops all of these are cropped because it's pretty much like all I wear is like if it's a tank or a little t-shirt it's at least a little bit cropped you can wear this with anything you can style them different ways you can literally wear these with a pair of jeans and like a bunch of accessories and it's like a cute outfit like tanks are just something that especially in summer you need in your closet and you don't even have to spend a lot of money on them this one is from Zara and this is 590 you guys this one is from Brandy Melville this one's a bit longer Paxson this one is also from Paxson the Lottie Moss brand and then this last one is from Princess Paula this one's probably my favorite because it's the most simple you can just style it literally a million ways going along with tops these are neutral tees so the first one I want to talk about is the one that I'm wearing right now this one is from XLE the label which is Lauren Elizabeth's brand then I have two from Brandy Melville here's this one with like this pretty little lace at the bottom this one was my favorite white tee and I just took it out of the wash and it is dirty at the bottom I don't know if there's like hair dye on it or what this top is literally ruined I'll probably like tie dye it or something and try to I don't know salvage it in some way but before this was ruined this was like my favorite top ever just neutral crop tees same thing as crop tanks and you just need them because if you want to go a little bit crazy with your bottoms or different like patterns and skirts or pants or you want to layer them underneath things like dresses you just need these on deck in your closet next tops let's talk about are graphic tees i wear these like most of the time because they're just so comfortable you can make an outfit by wearing them with jeans with skirts but then also they're just so comfortable to wear with sweatpants my all-time favorite one is from urban outfitters and it is this van halen graphic tee you've probably seen this so many times on instagram and i saw keaton milburn wear this all the time and i just knew that i had to have it they had like a huge sale graphic tees I don't know why I didn't get more not only neutrals amazing colors but like the fit is just perfect then I have other graphic tees like this one's from brand new Melville I also like the fit of this one it's not as big but it's still pretty comfortable and this one I really like to wear with like a pair of blue jeans a pair of white sneakers this one is from Princess Polly kind of the same as the last one I have this one in a size 6 these are just some examples, but go to the thrift store, go in the men's t-shirt sections, and you'll find all of the graphic tees that you will ever need there. You knew this one was coming, but a good pair of denim. I always tell people that you need a good pair of denim jeans. Splurge a little bit on them. You don't have to a lot. These are from Urban Outfitters, and these are my favorite ones. They're just the high-waisted straight leg um, jeans from BDG. I get so many questions on these and these are just like my ride or die jeans They fit so right and they're under a hundred dollars It's still a lot of money I'm not saying that's not a lot of money because it was kind of hard for me to spend this much on one pair of jeans But I'm so happy that I made this purchase and you really just need one just like staple No holes jeans that are kind of like made for you 
buy that pair. It's going to come so in handy and you will thank yourself. I have this exact style in the blue jean and then also one in black and like that's really all I need for like staple nice fitting jeans. Next thing are thrifted jeans. Now these are different. These are definitely different than your nice fitted jeans. I would call these kind of like my everyday essential jeans. These you know they're a little worn in. They might be a little torn. They might have a couple little stains in them but we love them. These are thrifted Levi's. If you can't tell the little tag is torn off. I wear these jeans all the freaking time. They're like the perfect amount of baggy for me. These were from Drop Your Jean. I got these like I think two years ago and they're $13. Obviously got my money's worth because I wear them all the freaking time. Stock up on your thrifted jeans, but also have your nice pair of jeans for like when you need her. Trust me, you'll definitely need her. Going into denim shorts. These are definitely essentials for the summer. I have one pair that are thrifted. These are actually a pair of pants and I cut them and I'm so happy that I did. They're just the cutest pair of shorts. I think that I cut them like perfectly if I do say so myself. So those are my thrifted ones. And then these ones are from Princess Polly. These are so comfortable. I have these in a size six. I believe these are called the Sala shorts from Princess Polly. These are my favorite style because they are a lot longer than like little booty shorts, you know? Those are very uncomfortable on me, especially cause I'm a little thicker in the thigh area. I don't like when it's like chafing in the middle. So if it's a little longer, it provides a little bit more of protection. Same thing with these ones. I just think they are a lot more comfortable. And of course, again, high waisted. Surprise, surprise. We love a good neutral skirt. These are both from Princess Polly. They are just super cute little mini skirts that have a slit on them. I have one in black and then one in white. Keep it neutral, goes with everything. You can wear them with crew necks, the crop tees, the crop tanks, graphic tees, literally everything. Tuck them in and you have a super cute look. Here we go, on to biker shorts. These are my favorite biker shorts ever. They're from Forever 21. I hope that I can find the link for these or that they're even in stock because Julia Havens talks about these all the time. And I was so lucky to be able to get some last time that she linked them. And I can tell you guys, like I have a biker shorts from, I've had like Forever 21 biker shorts but I have aloe yoga biker shorts and I love these ones so much more I love the material on them they just like hug you in just right they're the perfect length and I don't know these were literally $15 and whenever I wear my other biker shorts I'm like mm, eh, like mm. but these they're just amazing so Forever 21 biker shorts, but just in general, biker shorts are a staple and it's a given. I don't even really need to talk about this. Next are flowy pants, my everything. This is like my everything. Like I feel like these are even in front of denim, in front of jeans, because if I could wear these every single day of my life, like I would. These are my little Lululemon flowy pants. I'm gonna try to find similar ones and link them down for you down below for you guys. But I got these on clearance. I I think these were originally like $120, $130 and they were on clearance for $70 which is still a lot of money and I was so unsure about them in the beginning. I was like, well I really liked them but after spending $70 I was like, what did I just do? But ever since that day, like oh, these, these pants are my everything, they're my everything. They are the like most comfortable piece of clothing I've ever had. I think they're so chic and stylish and I love wearing them with like graphic tees and tucking them in a little bit. I love wearing them with my sweatshirts. They're my perfect lounge around the house pants but also look so cute like styling a whole outfit and like taking an Instagram picture in them. Like they're just the best pants I've ever owned. I have said throughout this whole video, crewnecks. Let's get into crewnecks. Two different kinds here. We got a medium and an extra large. Very different, okay, I'm gonna tell you. I take my crewnecks very seriously, my little pullovers very seriously. First, we're gonna start off with the medium. This is like, fits me perfectly. You know, plain, neutral, goes with everything. This one is from H&M. It's not super like cinched in on the bottom, which I really like. This is from like their basic section. They have a lot of different colors. I love a good, nice, neutral crew neck because a lot of my 
skirts are patterned kind of like the green polka dot one so throwing this on over it it just matches like perfectly now we got my extra large crew neck this one is thrifted and it's like my favorite ever so extra large is like my perfect oversized size large might be for some people but for like how tall I am I'm 5'7 and I don't know just all extra large is like my perfect oversized and these are like my loungy lounge 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 crew necks I feel like this one I'll wear more with biker shorts than the other one because I like how comfy it is when like crew necks cover your butt you know what I mean a pair of cute little sunglasses like these and you feel like Kendall Jenner maybe? I don't know. You, you get the vibe, kind of. This is essential, but also the medium crew neck is essential. They are different. You style them differently. They look different on you, but both are essential. Next, let's talk about oversized jackets. These have recently become a essential for me. These two are from Zara. I have these two, whoa, I have these two oversized jackets, of course, the colors. Are you surprised? This one is in an extra large, this one is in a medium, but it they literally look like the same size. They're just different styles, but this one is a little corduroy one, and this one is a lot thinner, a little bit more comfy. So these are my favorite because you can wear them over any of your simple tops. That's really when like your simple crop tops t-shirts come in handy because you throw this on over it you put a couple necklaces on some accessories a cute bag and like you're the cutest girl on the block like what more can you ask for this one i also like because i do like button it up sometimes and then like tuck it into a pair of jeans and i feel like super classy expensive i have this one from zara but then i have a green one from Princess Polly, it looks like literally the exact same. This one I was actually wearing today. This is a small, I just love the look. Also that kind of like monochromatic look, you could put a little green cardigan underneath or like a nude cardigan underneath. It could be like the perfect little like finishing touches to an outfit. Speaking of cardigans, the next wardrobe essential is cardigans, of course. If you know me, you know how much I love cardigans. I don't know what it is. I think they are so cute, so comfortable. You can have them in all different colors, all different like fabrics, big buttons, small buttons, like puffy sleeves, short sleeve, all amazing. The first one I have is actually a little short sleeve one. This is a cardigan, right? I would think so. Or it's just a cute button up top. Either way, I love this top. This one is from Princess Polly and this is in a size four. Then I have this green one, also from Princess Polly. I love the buttons. They are a little bit bigger than the other ones. So they stand out. I just think cardigans are like the cutest things ever. They make me feel girly, but like also kind of like sophisticated. And I really like that. Now going into sweaters. I have so many sweaters and for what? Like. For what reason? I just got these two. If you guys watch my little like thrifting haul vlog, I got this little neutral sweater. This one that has a little collar. Love that one. That one gives me like intern vibes. And this one is from, you guessed it, Princess Polly. Perfect little like puffed sleeves. It has like a nice like comfy neck almost off the shoulder but like not too much of course right now not wearing sweaters unless i wanted to like melt to death but i think the number one essential is like a white sweater again with the neutral colors but i think white sweaters are such staples and i really like how they look with blue jeans i think this is the moment where like most of you guys are expecting me to say a leather jacket but like i do not own a leather jacket and i think there's only like two times in my life where i was like oh, i really wish i had a leather jacket other than that not for me i don't know what it is honestly watch me like in a month get a leather jacket but right now i don't know not for me let's get into little accessories why not of course little black purse I have four right here. Now, especially with purses, you don't need to go out and buy super expensive purses, okay? I know I have my Prada bag, and I love my Prada bag, hold her dear to my heart, but you need a little black purse. You need your little thrifted purses. My favorite ones are honestly from the thrift store. These two are from thrifting. These two, one's from Brandy, and this one's from Princess Polly. These are super cute, don't get me wrong. I love these bags good and trusty you just have to have it like good thrifting day those good finds don't get discouraged they'll come but i just love these little bags so cute every single day i grab them i literally sometimes have to be like girl 
switch it up you have these other bags like go for them but no no me i'm just like excuse me can't hear you let's get into shoes first let's talk about slides and little slip-ons so show these in my last favorites video these are my adidas original slides wear them literally all the time these are the only like little throw on comfy slides that you really need. I feel like these are cute with jeans. Most of the time I wear them with sweats or I wear them on my walks and perfect shoes to bring on vacation, perfect beach shoes, just everything. Next we got my Burks. I have gotten so many questions about these. These are like, you need these for summer, you guys. I was so happy that I bought these and I literally want them in every single color. They are like the plasticky kind of Burks. So they are a lot less expensive than, you know, the regular Burks. I think these are $40 and so 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 well worth it you guys I cannot express to you enough let me know if you get these because I'm telling you you need them Converse oh Converse you have really stolen my heart okay I have been looking for these shoes everywhere I gave you guys a link and it worked at first and then all of a sudden I can't find these shoes at all so these are customized Converse so I think that you can like make these yourself on the website I believe because that's kind of like how I found them was someone else made the design and then I just like bought whatever they made so you might be able to make them yourself and customize them because I cannot find the link to save my life and I apologize for that I'm so sorry because these are the cutest shoes ever and I wish we could twin so let me know if you guys like figure it out because I simply cannot but they are little nude platform amazing amazing converse these are my black and white pair of converse they are a little beaten up I really want to get to the platform like pair of these but these these converse have been with me through it all i've had these for years i love them other than white sneakers like these are my go-to sneakers they will forever come in handy and then the perfect shoes to do leg day in because they get your booty nice and good and lastly we are gonna end off with white sneakers because you know me you know i cannot go a day without my white sneakers i'm obsessed I have a problem but here we go I'm I, why am I wearing shoes while filming this video I have no idea I love my white sneakers these are kind of white they're like off-white but these are honestly my favorite these are my Reebok Club C vintage shoes amazing first I got my Air Force one this is what started my little white sneaker obsession okay and everyone has these but everyone needs these like I wouldn't say that I wear these every single day but they are a staple and like when you need them you'll be happy that you got them then I got this pair of root box the top of my head I don't really know the name of them but I feel like these look a little bit sportier they are so dirty I know they're a little bit sportier to me in my opinion so I really like to wear these with like biker shorts or with my leggings not really for a chunky sneaker moment at all but my favorite over everything are my Reebok little vintage ones these are my perfect dress skirt sneakers so before I was wearing my Air Force ones with the dresses and stuff but I felt like they were too bulky and they kind of just like threw off my outfit a little bit because I had a cute little skirt or dress on and then I was wearing Nikes and it just like did not go together so got a pair of Reeboks they are a lot thinner I feel like they make my feet look a lot better because they're not like super bulky and I don't know overall just like if I could have two shoes for like the rest of my life I think I would pick these and my Burks like that's all I really need honestly and now you guys are all of my closet essentials. My room is a mess. Oh my gosh, this is not gonna be fun to clean up. I've literally just been like throwing stuff throughout the whole video. So that'll be interesting to clean up. But I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Those were all of my closet essentials, wardrobe essentials. I hope that you got even some like outfit ideas from this or ideas for the next time you go thrifting or the next time you go shopping, online shopping. And also let me know if, you, if there are any other videos that you wanna see styling related that aren't kind of like the ones that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Let me know down below if you're not already following me on all my social media they'll be linked in the description down below as well as somewhere on the screen my mouth is so dry from talking for so long excuse me 
if you have not already subscribe if you like today's video if you want to see more of me go ahead and subscribe turn on your little post notification bell i don't think i've ever said that before but it's there if you want to do that and i'll see you guys in my next video bye